Welcome to Candy's Homestead. I'm Donna. Today I am starting some seeds. I've already done some seeds that have started germinating, but I'm doing another batch. Um, There's just too many to do them all at one time or all in the same day. And I also had to wait on some plant labels. I got some new labels in that I got from Amazon. I have a ton of large labels with the tall um, leg on it, but I needed some short ones because the short ones is what will fit under the dome. So I've been waiting on those. I don't know why it took so long for them to come in, but they did come in finally. Today, what I'm gonna start for seeds are Echinacea, Calendula, Nasturtium, hollyhock. I've got some beets that I want to start. I want to put some collards um, out. I did not put any out during the fall, so I'm going to do a quick spring harvest of collards. Some yellow squash. I've got pineapple tomato here. Some okra. Two different kinds of cucumbers. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use yet. Cherry tomatoes. Yarrow broccoli, some blue lake um, green beans, marshmallow, some sweet margarine, borage, bee balm, and chamomile. That's what I'm putting out, um, or that is what I'm going to start the seeds today. Now, a week ago, I started um, one, two, three, Four. Last week I started four. Let me. They're over here. I started four different types of tomatoes and several peppers. I started parsley, um, celery, and about four different types of lettuces. And let's see. Two of the lettuces have come up, and several of the peppers have come up, but I'm still waiting on other things to germinate. And I'm having to do this in a spare room because my greenhouse is so full of plants, I have no room to start seeds. So I'm doing them in a spare room here in the house. I've got a couple of heat mats, that I'm gonna put them on in here. This is just kind of a spare junk room for right now. Um, I've got a makeshift table here, which is a cabinet, and I've got a desk over here, and I've got things set out over there. My, for, or my last frost date is April 6th, and I will wait until about the 10th before I start setting things out in the garden. And before then, of course, I'll need to harden things off, and I'm hoping everything germinates. My seeds are a collection of years worth of seeds. Some I bought, some I saved over the years from previous gardens. And you just never know until you start them if they're going to germinate because something can happen, seeds can go bad. It doesn't happen a lot, but it has happened. Not in whole batches, but a here and there and a hit and a miss. So I'm hoping all of these things will come up and we'll be moving forward towards the garden season. So I'm going to get started. Um, right now, though, I will say I don't know what cucumbers I want. I have not bought any seeds this year. Like I said, a lot of them are seeds that I've saved and seeds I've bought in the past. This is a bag of Champion Bush Cucumber. I've got some Berkless seeds. I have some Chicago Pickling Cukes and some Early Fortune Cucumbers. Now, the Chicago Pickling Cukes have done fine. The early fortune, I was not a fan of those, so I probably will not 
plant those. The burpless do fine, so that is probably, those two are what I'm gonna stick with. And the bush champion, I did those last year. It, I didn't matter one way or the other, they were okay, but I, I did those last year and I did not do the burpless, so I think that's what I'm gonna do this year for cucumbers. I also have Tokyo, just a few, Tokyo Green, these are slicers, and this is not, not labeled, just says slicing, that's more pickling cukes, and let's see what I have here, these are burpless, These are munchers, and these are market more. Hmm. I did the market more last year. I think I'm just going to stick to the burpless as far as the slicers. So I've got those out. I didn't care for the Tokyo Green. I will save those for when I'm out of others because a cucumber is better than no cucumber. I might end up buying some other kind. Okra. I have, I think I have some red. I do. I have a lot of the red jean orange. I like those a lot, and I have a new pack as well. These I saved, and these I got from Baker Creek. I don't know if the cucumbers were in sight. I didn't realize that the camera was off. So I have the orange, and I got those from Baker Creek. And then I have this bag of orange that I, well, they're really red-ish. These are the ones I saved. So I'm not going to open a new pack. And these are the Crimson Spineless. I plant those every year. So that's what I'm going to plant is the Spineless and the Red. I love okra, and I want to plant many of those. I've got some cherry tomatoes. These are just large red cherry tomatoes. Store-bought. I have some yarrow. It doesn't look like many because they are so tiny, 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 but I will be planting those. This is broccoli. I don't know what kind. I don't have it labeled. Somewhere I've got some new packs of broccoli that I bought last year. Blue Lake beans. These are green beans. I grow these every year. Lucy, get down. I like the um, Blue Lake variety. And I grow the type on um, vines. Um up a trellis, cattle panel trellis, marshmallow. Now, I planted marshmallow about five years ago, and I've dug it up several times and collected the root, and I have all of these seeds left. If they're in a baggie, then I collected them. But I only have one marshmallow plant that has survived over the years. They are a perennial in my area, and they generally come back. But only one has come back faithfully for the last five years. So I'm going to plant some more of that. The sweet marjoram. 
is, I guess that one's empty, and I've got a partial here. Lucy, no. Cat, cat, cat. You kept, you're stepping all in my soil. Come on now. Go. Oh, I'm so glad nothing was already set in there. That was just plain soil. So I've got one um, packet of marjoram borage. I don't know if I got, let me see. Yeah, I've got plenty of borage. I'm just going to set out a couple of borage. I've grown those lots in the past. I've got this in a baggie, but I don't remember collecting those seeds. Maybe something happened to the packet. But I got the borage from Baker Creek. And I believe these are from Baker Creek because I'm pretty sure I did not get seeds. Lemon balm, bee balm. These are very, very tiny as well. There's plenty in there, but I will set those out. Now I have one container that's probably six or seven years old that it never really dies during the winter. It dies back, but it never fully dies. And that is from the same um, packet, which I'm pretty sure that was from Baker Creek as well. But I want to plant more, so I'm going to set out a few of those. I've got chamomile. This is from Baker Creek as well. I got a couple of chamomile. I might need them. I know I bought some. I'm going to have to look. I've got boxes with seed packets in them as well. I've got seven of this style container. Seven of these. And I ran out of room, so I've got packets of seeds as well in boxes. I am quite sure that I've got more chamomile. I hope so. That's what I'll be planting. Pineapple tomato. Um, I'm going to try this for the last year. Now, there's just a few seeds in here. These are seeds from 2002, and they germinate every year. These were my father-in-law's seeds. I just have a few of those in here. I think I have a pack of his seeds in the freezer as well and I bought some from Baker Creek so they're probably in that box also. I'm only going to do one plant of this. I have not been a fan of this tomato every year. Soil seems to dictate the flavor or the soil pH and last year I planted them, planted Two or three of these I don't remember and they did not have good flavor and then I skipped a few years so maybe about four years ago I planted them and they were good flavor I just don't know I'm gonna try these again and see if they're gonna have any good flavor the soil has been amended a lot since um, well last year I had trouble with a lot of pests and so I kind of gave up on those things, and I did not nurture them, so that might have something to do with it as well. But I'm going to give it another try. This is yellow squash. Last year, I grew the patty pan squash, and I did not grow the standard um, yellow squash, and that's what I'm going to grow this year, just the straight neck. I'm going to grow just a few. I have a lot of squash in the freezer actually still, but I like some fresh squash here and there. I'm going to set out some collards. I have enough time to have some collards before it gets too hot. Even though they're better, no Lucy, even though they're better in the winter, the fall and winter, I'm going to set them out anyways just to have some fresh collards. Beets, I'm going to do a few beets, 
hollyhock. This is mostly herbs and flowers in this. Like I said, I've already got a lot of vegetables already started. Got some hollyhock seeds here. I'm going to do those in this container. Nasturtium. I like growing nasturtium. And I don't know why, but I didn't grow any last year. So I have some nasturtiums here. I'm going to start those. A lot of this can um, could wait and be set out direct so, but I just want to go ahead and get things started and not wait. I want them to develop some strong root systems. This is calendula. I've got plenty in there. I'm going to set that out. And echinacea. Mm. Let's see how many. Yeah, I've got plenty of echinacea. I've got, echin my echinacea comes back year after year, and I've got maybe six plants of echinacea, and I just want some more. That's all. They're scattered throughout in flower beds, and they get really huge. When I say I've got about six, it's not six plants, it's six locations and each location, every year when they come back, they come back twice, you know. So there might be six echinacea plants in one box out there. I've got them in raised beds and in-ground garden beds, flower beds. But they seem to multiply prolifically when they come back. So I just like them. I don't need them, but I'm going to set them out anyways. And that covers pretty much all that's going in this particular flat right here. So I'm going to get started. Okay, I've got all of these seeds in the tray and I have watered them. And what I do is I fill up the container with soil, which I'm using jiffy organic seed starting mix i fill it up pack it down lightly put my seeds in then i water the seeds before i put the top layer then i sprinkle the seed starting mix on top and then water it down again i have it on a heat mat which is under here I have two heat mats that are listed. Well, I think they're both the same. This one does not have a temperature control. The one over here has a thermostat and temperature control. But I have those listed in my Amazon affiliate links in the description below the video. And so they're on heat mats. Everything is labeled watered and now I'm going to cover it with the dome and that is why I wanted to wait until I got these shorter um, label pieces like I said I've got a lot of these but they're they have the longer stick and I use them outside in the garden but I needed some shorter ones and I can add these they were very inexpensive. It was a hundred for just a few dollars. I think they were $5.99. But I don't know that that's the price, you know, at any given time. So it was a pack of hundred. And I will add those to my Amazon affiliate links as well. Now, let me show what I have over here. I also did set out some sugar snap peas um, a few days ago. I'm not sure what day it was. And I don't think that they have germinated yet. But anyhow, down here, in this pot, I've got some Merlot lettuce. 
Well, the lighting is terrible. Uh, it's because I have a bright light here. But anyways, the Merlot has sprouted. The Iceberg has not, and Little Romaine has not. And I planted those um, the 25th of February. So it might be that these are not going to germinate. I have Paprika in here, St. Pierre tomato, German pink uh, tomato, pink celery, and parsley and I think that's all that I've got in here there's little tiny bits of germination I've got these two paprikas I've just about got to take them out of this dome because they are hitting the cover here and then I've got two more down here the rest of this has still yet to germinate it's also time for me to take my these are my sweet potato slips and they've got a lot of roots on them and it's time for me to pop these off and put them back in water I'm going to do that today so I've got a lot of sweet potatoes that are in the making so that is it for now. This is round two of my seed starting. I've got more to do, but I need to go out and wash trays. The trays are over in the greenhouse and I don't have them ready. So this is all I'm starting for this moment. I might start some more this evening or tomorrow. So anyways, I just wanted to share with y'all what I'm setting out this year. And until I see you on the next video, y'all have a wonderful day evening. Bye-bye.